with 321 left in the game. The Kansas defense added one more exclamation point, the best game they'd played all year. Perkins came in and got him, and not Lou, Brandon. Brandon Perkins. Missouri has run out of downs. They have run out of time. Bill will drop to a knee. This ball game is over, and it belongs to the Jayhawks, 35 to 14, and the students pouring out on the field. Here they come. The KU football team not going to the goalpost. They are going to center field. They are being mobbed by the many of the students are coming out to pound some of those football players on the back. The Kansas faithful rush the field and goal posts came down in victory. The students proceeded to take the goal post to their traditional dumping spot at Potter Lake. In the locker room, the team had a celebration of their own. Coach, on behalf of all of our players and coaches, I want to present you with the game ball today. I'm proud to have you with me every day. These kids love you, and I do too. Now that's proof of what it'll do for it. When you make up your minds that you want to do something, you, you remember this game. When it gets tough, just remember this game and what it took to win. God, nobody out there ever seen After the unforgettable win over Missouri, Kansas was 4-1 and one and traveled to Boulder, Colorado for a Big 12 matchup with the Buffaloes. The Hawks' offense was dominating defenses, averaging 41 points per contest over the last four games. This game would prove to be another showcase for Bill Whittemore and the high-powered KU attack. The offense got to work early, getting KU on the board first with a 64-yard career-long reception for Brandon Rideau. Fake, pass play, got a man open down the field. It is caught at the 20, Rideau at the 10, Rideau touchdown! Another bomb by the Jayhawks to Brandon Rideau, and he hauls this one in for his third touchdown reception of the season. Wow. And Rito, Brandon Rito out of Beaumont, puts KU on the board less than two minutes into the ball game. <laughs> Colorado came right back and scored 17 unanswered points in the first quarter. Flat back to throw it, setting up, throwing the ball, and it is caught for a first down down the sidelines to the 20. It's going to be a touchdown. PJ Hackett. Second quarter, the Jayhawk offense exploded for 28 points as Bill Whittemore worked all aspects of the Kansas offense to perfection. On the first drive, KU drove 80 yards in five plays. 
Hand off Clark Green up the middle, across the 25 and up across the 30. And a first down as he wraps his arms around the ball. It'll be second and two for the Hawks at their own 40 one yard line. Ooh, and a Buffalo jumps across and makes contact. It's a free play. KU's gonna throw a pass, and it is caught by the Jayhawks over there. Mark Simmons at the 20. How about that, David Lawrence? The Buffs kind of stopped for a moment, didn't they? That was so heads up by Bill Whittemore. Everyone just stopped, and even including some Jayhawks, and Bill just simply looked at Mark and signaled him to go, took two steps back, Offside. threw it up right into the wind. The and what might get the Jayhawks a little bit momentum back as we in get to the end of the first quarter, a very heads up play by Bill Whittemore. Whittemore in the shotgun. A little different look offensively. Whittemore throws, caught by Reno. He gets to the 15, fights to the 10, down to the seven. What an effort by Brandon Reno of Kansas. Boy, is he a 100% improved player over a year ago when he really didn't seem to like contact. He took plenty of it right there and dragged and fought his way on down to the eight yard line. Boy, a great run by Brandon. Shotgun formation, Clark Green standing to the left of Bill Whittemore. Two receivers on each side. Whittemore gonna run a draw play. Coming wide to the five, diving to the pylon! And did he make it? He did, touchdown! He hit the pylon! Still another touchdown for Bill. He just keeps racking them up all the time. KU pulled within three, 14 to 17, and the defense came up big as linebacker Nick Reed fell on a Colorado fumble. Gave possession back to the Jayhawks. Double reverse, ball fumbled. KU fights for it, I think they've got it. KU's got it at the Kansas 34 yard line. This time KU moved 66 yards in five plays to take the lead. Shotgun formation, play action fake. Whittemore's got time, throwing, it is caught by Lattimore, down inside the 10, to the eight yard line, Denver Lattimore. Oh, they go to the big tight end that time, and a great catch by Lattimore. First and goal, Kansas, at the Colorado eight yard line. Hawks trail by three. Here's a handoff to Clark Green, to the five, down to the one, he dives forward, and right at the goal line. 17-14 Colorado right here. So put them ahead if they make it. Option play, Whittemore to the goal line. He is, is he in there? Well, he's in there he's, by He is yards. clearly in there, and finally some arms go up to identify the touchdown. <laughs> Buffaloes came back with a touchdown of their own to regain the lead. Straight back, sets up, throws over the middle, wide open, touchdown. And Colorado's back in front. 2.31 remaining in the half, KU put together an impressive six-play, 80-yard drive to once again take the lead. Whittemore with a blitz in his face, back to throw, screen pass, Green juggles, picks it off, runs to the 30, to the 40, sidelines 50, being chased at the 40, to the 35, and down there, what a great catch by Clark Green. Boy, it was he. He wasn't sure he had the ball, but uh, he kept juggling and looked, and there it was in his hands, and a great run by Clark Green, and he has uh, great speed and good agility, and what a huge play. Two receivers on each side. Whittemore back to throw it. It is caught at the 10 by Simmons, and he's down to the nine. First and goal, KU. First down play from the nine. Whittemore on a delay, gives to Green, to the five, to the goal line, in there, touchdown, Clark Green! Boy, was that a beautiful drive by the Jayhawks, and it didn't take hardly any time at all, and a nine-yard explosion by Clark Green over the goal line for another six points, and KU's back in in front again. On the ensuing Buffalo drive, with time running down in the half, Nick Reed stole the ball for the second time in the quarter. Deep drop, he's back to throw, he's got time. Intercepted, Nick Reed's got it! To midfield, and out of bounds on the far side. Boy, that looked like Pat thought Reed had on a black shirt. He threw the ball right straight to Nick Reed. After the interception, KU faced a fourth and six at the 41-yard line, with one second remaining in the half. Three receivers to the far side, Gordon to the near side. Boy, Colorado looked to be offsides again, but no flag. 
Whittemore pumping, throwing to the end zone, a Hail Mary. It is foot for We got it, we got it. And Gordon, touchdown, Charles Gordon. Oh, you baby. the rebound. Everybody in the world touched that ball, and Charlie Gordon came down with it just before it hit the ground. It was tipped up in the air, and little Charles Gordon got the rebound. Touchdown. Oh, oh. boy. What a play that was. <laughs> what a play. A Hail Mary and a kick for an extra point is good and halftime is here. Halftime. Wow, we Kansas 35, Colorado 24. They went 55 yards in four <laughs> plays, but all on one really. Yeah, that's right. The Hawks went into the locker room with an 11 point lead, but the Buffaloes fought back. Colorado stormed out in the second half on a 15 play drive that resulted in a Buffalo touchdown. Oh, it's not Calhoun, it's Jolly, and he pounds it into the end zone. Boy, the big running back was in there that time, the 230 pounder. He was hit near the line of scrimmage, but he just bowled over into that end zone. After Colorado failed on a two point conversion attempt, Bill Whittemore marched the Jayhawks down the field 76 yards on the ensuing drive showed his versatility as a quarterback. He runs 35, 30, 25, 20, down to the 15 he goes. He could have gone out of bounds at the 20, but he moved to the right and takes it down to the 13. 22-yard field goal attempt. Here it comes. The kick is up. The kick is good. He got it. And the Hawks tack on three more points right here on the field goal by Johnny Beck. The field goal increased the Jayhawks' advantage to 38 to 30. But as they had the whole game, Colorado fought back, scoring a touchdown, and then converting for two points, bring the game to a 38-all tie. In the fourth quarter, Bill Whittemore continued to rack up passing numbers with help from Mark Simmons. Big lineman Dabdu jumped off sides. KU's going to throw it. Simmons and trying to get it. He caught it, and a flag thrown down there. Second he, time today that's happened when Colorado jumped off sides. Is he, is he phenomenal or what? An unbelievable catch by Simmons. I think he caught it one-handed down there with a defender right in his face. Huge Colorado crowd going wild. Whittemore rolls out to the right, stopping, looking, throwing, and it is caught! Simmons! And out of bounds he goes, a late penalty flag. Out of bounds at the 22. Whittemore had a career day and his 422 yards passing and his 467 total yards both ranked second all time in the Kansas record book. Third and goal from the five. They go to the shotgun. Clark Green's back in there. Whittemore throwing to the end zone. Touchdown. And it is. Is it a touchdown? Simmons. There. Touchdown. They call it. Simmons got it right off the grass. Boy, did he ever. Was that close? Wow. The extra point was blocked by the Buffaloes, and KU led 44 to 38. 524 left in the game. Colorado drew within three on a 41-yard field goal. All put down, the kick's on the way, and the kick is good. He got it. Buffalo defense held KU on the next possession. Got the ball back in time for one final drive. 335 to play in the game. And a handoff to the tailback. And he breaks to the 10. He gets to the outside, up the sideline, pulled out of bounds at the 31. Big third down play. He's got the snap. He's back to throw. He's being pressured. He steps up. He throws a pass. And it is caught at the 12-yard line. A diving catch by Hackett. With 14 seconds left in the game, Colorado connected on a 23-yard field goal that sent the game into overtime. With 17 seconds to go, there's the snap. Ball put down, the kick's up. It's good. Tie game with 14 seconds to play. We are going to overtime. Time runs out on the clock. It's 44-44. Kansas got the ball first in overtime and advanced to the CU 17-yard line. The Buffalo defense held, and KU attempted a field goal. Field goal try coming up. They put it down. The kick's on the way, and the kick is... Good, he got it. After the field goal, Colorado got the ball. KU's defense fell short as Colorado ran it in from the 12-yard line to end the game 50-47. A touchdown wins it. 
Here's a draw play to Calhoun straight ahead. Dan has got a touchdown, and the game is over. Saturday, October 18th, marked the 91st homecoming game for Kansas. The Baylor Bears were in town to face KU in only the seventh all-time meeting between the schools. Over 40,000 fans turned out early to watch the 4-2 and two Jayhawks take on the Bears. Came out of the tunnel, fired up and ready to play. Hamans kicks off. Kemp and Hagens deep for Kansas. It's a low line drive, spinning to the goal line. Hagens picks it off there to the 10, running left, 15, 20, 25, up to the 30, 35, up to the 39 yard line. The opening drive was highlighted by a Mark Simmons reception on a crucial third down play. Escapes one man, now looks, throws, and it is tipped and caught by Simmons. A flag is down. Simmons with the ball running laterally at the Baylor 30-yard line. It's a first down if the play stands. The play did stand, and KU punched it in six plays later from the 18. Stand to the left to Whittemore. And it's an inside handoff to Green. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Right up the middle, Clark Green! Boy, he did. He exploded right up the center, and there was a great hole for him as Clark Green scampers in for his fifth TD of the year. And the Jayhawks take the opening kickoff and march all the way down the field for a nice touchdown to start the game. The Bears scored back-to-back -back touchdowns before Kansas drove 85 yards in seven plays to tie up the game at 14-all before halftime. Whittemore, deep drop, looking now, stepping up, throwing, up the field to Rito. He's got it at the 40, tackled at the Baylor, 35. Jayhawks need 35 more yards here to get a touchdown. From the gun, Whittemore standing in there, throwing, bobbled, caught by Anderson, the tight end, down inside the 25, first down at the 23. A minute 17 to play in the half, the clock stopped. From the gun, Whittemore unloads to the end zone, Gordon, touchdown! He beat his man in the end zone, and Whittemore put it right on Charles Gordon's number three. Well, it was a great play. Larry Bynum trying to cover for Baylor, but he was beaten badly by Gordon. And Charlie Gordon comes up with another huge play right at the end of the half. After halftime, both teams fought for field position in the third quarter. The defense led by Gabe Toomey and Banks Floodman collected 21 tackles between them on the day, five of which resulted in a loss of yardage for the Bears. And the fans yell, to me. Harris under center, backs up, looks to throw, pump fake, and he's sacked. Back inside the 40 by Banks Floodman. Early in the fourth quarter, the momentum turned in Kansas' favor as Bill Whittemore found Mark Simmons on a 40-yard touchdown reception. Under center, Whittemore fakes a handoff, rolls out to the left, throws. You got Simmons at the 25, 20, 10. there by Bill Whittemore and Simmons really, really fooled the defensive backfield that time. The touchdown put the Hawks ahead 21 to 14. Whittemore's TD passes to Gordon and Simmons moved him ahead of June Henley for second place on the KU career touchdown responsible for list at 44. Whittemore also passed Chip Hillary for third place on the career touchdown passes list at 26. Baylor got the ball back, but was immediately shut down by the Jayhawk defense. Go to the shotgun, here comes the blitz. Harris back, he's hit! Back inside the 10 by Tim Allen! And he really nailed Aaron Harris on that play. And this crowd is helping the Jayhawks out on the field, no question about it. 
After Allen's sack forced the Bears to punt, the Hawks got the ball back, and freshman John Randall showcased his running ability. Here's second and 11 for the Jayhawks, the Baylor 30. Toss play comes to Randall. 25 20, down the sidelines. 10, back out of bounds. Inside the 10. Boy, Larry Bynum hit him. First and goal, KU. First and goal now from the 12. Oh, go back to work. In the shotgun, Whittemore is going to pitch it to Randall. Here he comes. 10 5, put it on the board. It's a John Randall touchdown. Boy, the afterburners were lit that time for John Randall. He is going to be. So much fun to watch for the next three years at KU. The Bears bounce back and pull within a touchdown late in the fourth quarter. He steps up, he throws, he's caught, touchdown! Lower right hand corner of the end zone, caught by Marcus Roberts. After the kickoff, the Baylor defense held and forced KU to punt. He is sacked. Baylor's going to get the ball back, trailing by a touchdown with 3.30 to play. Bears had one last chance to tie, but the Kansas defense was determined to stop any hope of Baylor sending the game into overtime. Well, we've come down to this. Inside three minutes to go, 2.53 to play in the game. The Jayhawks lead by a touchdown. And Karras, a very accurate passer, very high percentage. He's back to throw it. Here's the pass. Intercepted! Jayhawks! Banks Floodman on the far side. He is inside the 15. The Hawks have it. That might wrap up the win for KU right there. The interception sealed the homecoming victory for Kansas, 28 to 21. The win brought KU's overall record to five and two. October 25th, the Jayhawks traveled west to Manhattan to face Kansas State. The Kansas defense opened the game by holding the Wildcat offense to three and out on the first series. Third down play, and play action. Roberson back, wants to throw it, being chased, puts it in the air, knocked down, maybe intercepted on the sideline. Let's see. Caught out of bounds. Caught it's out caught, out but out of bounds. Teams played even until late in the first quarter when K-State quarterback L. Roberson Ran for three yards for a touchdown that put the Wildcats up seven to nothing. He went around the right side and undetected. He scores. The Jayhawks fought back and drove into Wildcat territory. He gets through to the 30, 25, 20, foot race, 15, 10, down to the six. First and goal. But in the final minute of the first quarter, Bill Whittemore, ranked the second most efficient quarterback in the country, suffered a shoulder injury. And he shut down there. It'll be third and goal for the Jayhawks at the Kansas State three-yard line. KU settled for a field goal to bring the score to seven to three. And it's good. And the Jayhawks are able to salvage three points out of the deal. Whittemore went to the locker room and was out for the rest of the game. Bill Whittemore, who's in the locker room, has speculatively injured his right shoulder. Clark Green showed his ability as a running back in the second half. Delay to Clark Green, out across the 20, 25, 30, up across the 35 to the 37, carrying purple shirts with him. But despite a strong effort, the Jayhawks fell to Kansas State and went to 5-3 and three overall. Following week, Kansas was on the road again. This time they traveled to College Station, Texas to face the Texas A&M Aggies. With Whittemore out indefinitely, freshman quarterback Adam Barman was called into action to lead the offense. Barman would make his first collegiate start ever in front of the hostile A&M crowd of over 68,000. The Aggies jumped out quick and scored on their first possession of the game, giving them an early 7-0 lead. Here comes number seven at quarterback, the freshman from West Platte High School, Weston, Missouri, Adam Barman. Took Kansas and their new freshman quarterback just three plays to respond. To the 30 he goes into the 32-yard line, a gain of about four yards on his first play as a college QB. Second and six Jayhawks, their own 32. They go to the shotgun. 
Barman back to throw, puts it in the air, and it is caught at midfield. First down for the Jayhawks. It's pulled down by Charles Gordon. He goes under center. Clark Green, the running back. Two wide outs to the far side. Barman drops back. Screen pass to Clark Green. To the 45. Makes his way to the 40. 35, 30. Foot race, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Boy, he sidestepped two or three guys along the way. A little throw right over the middle. And a great run by Clark Green after the catch. That was a highlight film play right there for Kansas. And they come right back immediately and put themselves in position to tie this game. The Aggies took the lead early in the second quarter, but Barman quickly brought the Jayhawks back on a 10-play, 80-yard drive, highlighted by an outstanding catch at the one by freshman Charles Gordon. Looking, looking, fires the ball in a crowd. It is caught at the goal line by Gordon. Sensational catch down at the one-yard line. Boy, was it ever, and what a throw. This Barman is fantastic. And a great catch by Gordon, who juggled it just for a second, pulled it in. First and goal to go at the one-yard line. These Hawks are fighting back today. Barman under center. Quarterback sneak. And he dives forward. No signal. Now, touchdown! Touchdown, Kansas. Adam Barman with his first TD as a collegiate player. In the second half, Barman continued to put points on the board on offense. Action, Barman back to throw, cranks up, got a man open. Randall at the 10, touchdown! From the shotgun, pump fake. Pass play, left side to Rito, he's got it! Into the end zone, touchdown! From the shotgun, Barman throws, caught at the five, take it into the end zone! It's going to be a touchdown for Brandon Rito. How about four touchdown passes in your first game in college? Boy, not bad. This kid has really been something. But the Aggies were too much for the KU defense, and AM went on to defeat the Hawks 45 to 33.